Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It's Arad from Radkotaro. And in this whole video, we're gonna look into a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well a Virgo Rising weekly general tarot reading February 22nd up until February 28th. 2021 and uh, if you are interested in a personal reading or uh, you may want to take my tarot classes you can check out the description down below and uh, there you're going to see a link to my website where you can view and purchase either or both of these services so with that being set aside let's move to the virgo reading of the week and the first card that the virgo has that is to be judgment followed by uh, the page of wands Moving next, what we do have, that is to be the Hermit. And the fourth one you do have, Virgo, that will be the Death card. And the last one for you, we have the Three of Wands. Who, man, I mean, that, that is to be, woo, extremely important week for you guys. And uh, this week is, it, it's simply gonna bring a lot of answers to you. Um, uh, and these answers are not going to be a very generic uh, answer. Just hold on a second. They're not going to be generic answers. You know, these are going to be answers how to keep up moving with your life moving on from now forward. You know, uh, in generally, for example, what to do for a living or how to how to tackle with your intimate life as well. Um, <clears throat> and. Uh, uh, that will be one of the most important weeks of this year that you're going to have, looking at the cards here. And uh, based on what, what you're going to come up with throughout the end of this week, will define for what it seems uh, for a huge portion uh, the rest of the year or at least the few uh, the next few months that you're going to have. So right at the start of the week here for you, we do have a judgment. And judgment brings uh, for you a lot of uh, revelations in terms of uh, the question, what am I to do now into the situation that I am in, either in regards to career, either in regards to relationship or in general for, life, for, for your life. That is because judgment plays a role, uh, plays a couple of roles. One of the role of the judgment, that is the wake up call. You know, one, one morning you wake up or say um, you are under the shower and suddenly some kind of an insight, inspiration or, or, or whatever hits you. And you do now understand what you got to do and how to do it. And through it, the other thing that the judgment does, it is making all the pieces of the puzzle for you falling up together. And thus, the full picture for you is revealed. So you can expect at the start of your week, um, as you do not have a way out, as you do not have an, an idea option available in front of you in terms of like I said, how to proceed with your career moving forward or how to proceed with your relationship moving forward or how to find love in general, a, an option available that is to be ideal for you is going to be present. Now, what is going to take, however, to take that option available, that is uncertain here by the judgment. For some, it could take very little. For others, it could take quite a lot, for example, to abandon their own life, their old life and move toward a new type of life, you know, like a, a major change into them. But as I, as I know the next cards that are coming up, definitely there are things in flux and you have to give up from in order to take on this, uh, this new option available that is in front of you, like a decision, like, a, like an opportunity, for example, or, um, <clears throat> or like any uh, uh, surprising, uh, surprising events that you, need to take, uh, that you need to take advantage of. And this is what the whole week for you is going to revolve around. And right after this revelation, a flash of insight, for example, uh, or, or if you will, a, a very fateful coincidence of, uh, of the universe, uh, this person appears and that is somebody you definitely know. That is somebody that is, it happens to be a faithful companion of yours. Somebody that you're talking with on a daily basis or um, two-day basis, like um, <clears throat> every other day. And you are sharing with each other a lot about your lives. Uh, that is like your bestie. 
and uh, with them what happens here is that you're gonna share you know what you came up with as a uh, option available as an opportunity or as a, uh, a faithful alignment of the circumstances here that everything now makes sense for you the whole piece the whole puzzle here uh, it kind of like snapped together and now you know what you gotta do and here what is going to be uh, deliberated upon it is what is going to cost you how much you need to give up in order to take advantage of this or in order to take on on this uh, on this option available and the page is going to reassure you uh, or kind of like make their uh, make their case that if you do not try it right now maybe you are going to uh, how can i say maybe you are going to regret it for the rest of your life for these for the page in general they are always open for anything new that comes their way and as they see through your explanation that this new thing comes about to you in their eyes you know and in their world it's unacceptable someone to pass on a such a, a faithful coincidences like i said or a um an opportunity presented like like out of the blue or an option available that it is ideal and another thing is that you may not uh kind of like be how can i say um not convinced but rather like you may be doubtful that you do have what it takes and the page is going to be amazed how you can say that for for them you are the strongest person in the world uh, i mean if uh, for them if you are able to to uh, tackle with it nobody else is and thus they are going to boost your not enthusiasm but courage as well and um what was the word uh, confidence and they're going to boost your confidence so you can push through and uh, actually change your life because this is what is at stake here to uh, to change your life and uh, make it more secure make it more certain instead of leaving it into um into the into the void if i may say it that way instead of leaving it at stake and right after that, right after the interference of the page of wands here, we do have the Hierophant. And not the Hierophant, but the Hermit, I'm sorry. So that's, uh, that's the Hermit. And uh, with the Hermit, although the page is going to give you very good advice, you know, and it's going to boost your uh, confidence and enthusiasm, you are still going to be a bit hesitant to take on actions here with the, uh, with the Hermit. That is because... Uh, at that stage you are to recognize that having the opportunity and as well you know having the determination to take on this opportunity is not quite enough and um, you need to actually prepare yourself for it so uh, what will be likely at that stage is that you do withdraw for a while from your uh, usual activities with the hermit card with the energy of the hermit and think um very intelligently and wisely how exactly you can translate this um, this option available or an opportunity as a something very substantial for you but the more you think about it the more you are going to start recognizing what the page told you that if you do not take it right now then probably you are going to regret it for a, a very long time moving forward and maybe for your entire life as well uh, the hierophant as well the hermit i'm sorry so the hermit as well uh, is gonna put a lot of a um a lot of light if you will uh, upon your feelings so if you are uncertain you know about what you feel about a situation or about the person throughout that stage of the week with uh, the hermit your feelings is going to become um not very valuable i would have said um you're going to be very acknowledgeable about your feelings you will know exactly do you love the person or not do you like your job or not do you like that person or not you know or do you want to do something or not and what exactly one thing means for you what exactly that relationship you have means for you what exactly your uh, your job means for you and so on and so forth and based on on these intelligently made conclusions and very wisely 
uh, um, how can I say, deliver very wise deliberation upon the situation that you are in, it seems that you're going to take off certain direction and that direction is going to define your next few months, if not your life moving forward. And as you are ready to move into that direction, here is where the death card comes about. And uh, the death, it is like the last, I don't want to say predicament, it's more like a um, the last ordeal that you have to go through before you actually can embark this new direction of yours that it is provoked by the flash of insight or an opportunity and it is uh, identified to be the most substantial thing that you have recently encountered. And here with the death card, that is the mark where you do realize at that point that you cannot bring your entire life into it. There are certain things that need to go. There are certain people that need to go. There are certain aspects of your life as well that needs to go. There are things in flux, like I said, and they, do no long, they don't any longer serve any purpose for you. They are... Uh, they are meaningless as you do embark on this new direction of you. That could be a um, new relationship, new job or a promotion, for example, or a just new, um, new way of life, new, um, new stereotype of life. Um, it could be that you came up that uh, smoking is not something that you can keep up doing. It could be that uh, you may decide that drinking is not something that you uh, that you may want to keep up doing. Uh, it could be as well that your current job is not something that you should keep up doing, but instead looking for another job. Here with the death card, important thing to be said it is that the death works through a substitution. So you are to replace one thing with another. So even if you do uh, come up with the conclusion that uh, your, um, your relationship, for example, is incompatible with your life and you have to leave it behind, you simply need to let it go because it kind of like served its time and no longer can contribute for your life. You, you see no longer any advancing to it and it cannot grow any further. So it's, it's pretty much dead and uh, you have to leave it behind is going to be replaced with another moving forward into the future. So if at that point you are wondering, am I ever going to find love, which is a uh, very, um, how can I say, recurrent uh, question in my line of work, you Virgo, yes, you, you will. Okay, and same thing, it's about, uh, it's about the job. But uh, at that point, when you decide to change your life somewhere throughout the week, you have to think about, you know, what is, which are those things into your character or into your environment as well, that is gonna serve no purpose whatsoever and, need to, and you need to willingly let them go. And right after that, we do have the three of wands, and that is throughout the uh, towards the end of the week and here we are seeing you very well prepared to move into the future and to dive into your new direction which again it could be new partnership friendship um, or new way of life new relationship new career whatever it is whatever that judgment brought to you as an option available or as a flash of insight and um, here you do have made a very good preparations. You are actually developed a very solid patterns to move forward. And now looking, you are to find yourself actually looking forward up to the challenge. Now, if we have to translate it into the, uh, into the 3D world, as a colleague of mine likes to say, uh, should that relate to your uh, career here, this card, this card promises a lot of a new heights that you get to conquer. Yeah, it will be a bit challenging. They, they, it speaks for a challenging project, you know, and challenging tasks uh, and as well challenging interactions, but they are going to come up with their very good rewards. And if we have to translate it into relationship and intimacy, then uh, you're going to have your relationship, intimacy or a uh, potential uh, interactions that are going to correlate exactly to your expectations. Which expectations are going to form up here with the first three cards? And as well, the fourth one, it is the process of uh, breaking or kind of like leaving behind your old expectations. So 
it is more of a inner work that you will have to do throughout the week in order to align yourself for the bright future that awaits you moving forward. So that being said, Virgo, this was your a weekly general tarot reading, February 22nd up until February 28th, 2021. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it, guys, and um, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.